Hello and welcome to today's presentation on the proper technique for an IM injection. As far as any procedure is concerned, it's always important to make sure you have your supplies first. So those supplies include hand sanitizer, gloves, your injection syringe, your medication, a band-aid, alcohol swab, and something to wipe up any blood if necessary. So two important details of identification are your patient and your medication. First. Um, make sure it's the right patient through two identifiers. That would be name, medical record number, or date of birth. Make sure they're not allergic to any medications or injections. Um, and also, with your medication, make sure it's the proper dosage, the right one, and um, the med that the expiration date is valid. So get your supplies ready for drawing up the solution. Wash your hands before any procedure. And we're going to glove up. And then we're ready to go. All right, so initially you're going to make sure that your needle and syringe is functioning properly. So uncap, aspirate a little bit up to a half cc. And then for your medication, just simply pop the top. And then for multi-use vials like this, you always want to cleanse with a alcohol swab. And it's just a matter of inserting the needle into the bottle, aspirating, and drawing up your half cc or whatever it is that the amount that you need to inject. For the actual injection, you need to find um, the landmarks and in the deltoid you want to find the palpate for the uh, acromion process and go about two finger breadths down in the mid axillary line and that's a good place for the injection to go. So once you have your injection site you want to clean it off with an alcohol swab, let it air dry. When you're doing the injection the needle should be bevel up and when you're ready to inject you want to put some tension on the fascia so that it doesn't move anywhere. And in a quick fluid motion, go straight into the muscle. Stabilize the needle with the other hand. Aspirate to make sure you're not in any vein or vessel. And when you've done that, you can just simply inject and remove. And if you have any bleeding, simply wipe it up with a gauze pad and apply your Band-Aid. Whenever possible, it's important not to try to recap needles, so simply just dispose of it of a, in a sharps container. That concludes this video tutorial on IM injections. Thanks for watching, and remember, practice makes perfect.